On this planet Earth, where humanity lives, every day, billions of people do their roles. Day and night. Some travel, some innovate and create. Some teach, some study, some play. Some have fun with their loved ones every day. Some work day and night on this planet. It has always been lovely. But that's yesterday. There are no kids. To play on swings, people are inside, depressed. Places are empty, everything is empty, roads are empty, classes are empty. Kids are depressed, people yearn for the outside. Doctors are busy, people are sick. Why should we stay quarantined? COVID-19 spreads mainly among people who are in close contact for a prolonged period. Spread happens when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or talks, and the droplets from their mouth or nose are launched into the air and land in the mouths or noses of people nearby. If we don't self-quarantine, an influx of cases will happen, which in turn will cause hospitals and healthcare systems to reach their maximum limits. This will cause a wave of deaths because of inability to provide healthcare for all. Plus, when we isolate ourselves, we are protecting the weak, such as the elders or the immunocompromised individuals, since the recent studies indicate that people who are infected but do not have symptoms likely also play a role in the spread of COVID-19. Although the risk of severe illness may differ for each person, anyone can get and spread COVID-19. Everyone has a role to play in slowing the spread and protecting themselves, their family, and their community. Without going outside and not knowing what to do, we keep tossing ourselves on our beds. I know that everything is out of order, and the only thing we can do about it is stay depressed all day. But accept it. We can do nothing about it. The world is like this now. It keeps changing, just like us. There is no need to stay depressed when you can get used to it. We humans have been created not perfect. When we are not geniuses. We take steps to achieve what we desire. So let me get this straight. I know that things have been hard lately, but Nothing can stop us humans from developing. It is our nature. Now being able to go outside does not mean we can't learn. So, instead of being all sad about it and only sleep and eat all day, why not do something new? Prepare yourself to be the best you've ever been. Done by Hanin Abu Naja, grade 10G1. Many of us are feeling really bored in quarantine and we are having plenty of time in our hands, but we don't really know what to do and how to enjoy quarantine. 
So here are some ideas for how to make your time more valuable and fun at home. Keep some time for your creativity. You can pick any creative activity or hobby you like. You can go, paint or sing. You can also do some DIYs and arts and crafts and do it with your siblings and have fun while creating new stuff. Play some indoor games which can enhance your brain activity and productivity like chess, crossword puzzles or monopoly. Learn to cook some new dishes or maybe help your parents in cooking. As we all love food and learning to cook or cooking itself is a therapy. So I would suggest you learn to cook some recipes and be creative in it and amaze your family. Reading. If you're one of those bookworms, then you have plenty of time to read a bunch of your favorite books. And if you're not really a book person, then you can try and develop this new habit. Reading good books will not only help you pass time, but will also increase your knowledge and vocabulary. Learning new skills. Make great use of this time by learning a new skill. Give it a try, for example in drawing or any other skill. Don't be afraid of failing, just remember that patience is the key to success. Spend some quality time with your family. As we all had such a busy schedule, we didn't get quality time to spend with our family. Now, with all the time you have, you can watch movies together, or play some games, or just have some random conversations. This will create a good bond with your family. How to stay safe if you have to go outside during the coronavirus pandemic? It's quite important to take the precautionary measures when you're going outside during this pandemic. Number one, don't touch stuff. Avoid surfaces touched by different people like swings, slides or benches, or at least wipe them down before using them. Avoid touching your eyes, nose or mouth without washing your hands. Avoid contact with animals, live or dead. Number two, bring hand sanitizer. You've probably heard it a million times already, but it's worth repeating so that you can wash hands while you are out if needed. Number three, choose the best outdoor place. You should go somewhere where you won't encounter lots of other people. So if you're going out to eat, Consider skipping the packed restaurants. If you're going out to a park or a beach, look for an area without too many people around. Hospitals don't need more patients. Choose low-risk areas. Number 4. Bring masks along. You should wear a mask in just about any sitting outside your home, as long as the pandemic continues especially in areas of significant community-based transmission. For example, grocery stores where social distancing may be difficult. A mask also likely offers some protection to you by creating a physical barrier to droplets from others in front of your mouth and nose. Be careful about what you touch as you go outside or return home. You need to be careful about things like elevator buttons and doorknobs that other touch. For example, you can tap out a pin code with your nickel instead of the pad of your fingers. You should push open a door with your shoulder or foot instead of your hands. Number 6. Stop handling cash. While it's believed that the highest risk of acquiring the coronavirus comes from person-to-person -person transmission, play it safe by setting the cash aside for now and relying more on countless payments. Number 7. Keep up social distancing. The chances of you catching something from someone as they pass is quite small, but it's best to give the widest berth you can. COVID-19, while it's come to an end, 
Most experts say it's now too late to contain the virus. That's what nations were able to manage with two earlier related diseases, SARS and MERS. That means that, like the flu, COVID-19 is likely here to stay, returning in some form year after year, and the current pandemic, that will end only with herd immunity. Herd immunity describes what happens when a large share of the population has become immune to a disease. Because so few people at that point can get infected, the germ finds a hard time finding a new host. How many people must get sick and recover for this to happen depends on how infectious a disease is. This is defined by the particular germ's basic reproduction number. It's known as R0. When a brand new virus emerges, no one is immune. A virus that can be spread easily, such as by a cough, handshake, or touching a door handle, can spread like wildfire, and the coronavirus behind the current pandemic is just such a virus. But once enough people are immune, the virus will hit COVID-19 survivors. They will serve as walls of immunity, as they can't become reinfected, at least not quickly. The pandemic will start to burn out instead of raging ahead. Scientists call that share of people needed to form such a wall the herd immunity threshold. While some Western traditional or home remedies may provide comfort and alleviate symptoms of mild COVID-19, there are no medicines that have been shown to prevent or cure the disease. World Health Organization does not recommend self-medication with any medicines, including antibiotics, as a prevention or cure for COVID-19. However, there are several ongoing clinical trials of both Western and traditional medicines. World Health Organization is coordinating efforts to develop vaccines and medicines to prevent and treat COVID-19 and will continue to provide updated information as soon research results become available. Presented by Sama from Grade 10 G1. Hope you've enjoyed.